Welcome back to the TLC Perfect Pond channel. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of fertility in a pond and how having a fertile pond, fertile water can really, really help your fishery, help you grow nice, big, healthy sunfish and largemouth bass. So today we're at this 10 acre farm pond here and it's kind of hard to tell right here but when the light hits it just right in some areas you can kind of see the color of the water and immediately tell it's pretty fertile you can kind of see a, a green film on the water now this pond is located pretty close to a dairy so kind of right up that hill there there's a bunch of cows there's a dairy up there so it's getting a lot of runoff a lot of manure runoff into the pond here which is definitely improving the fertility of the water now our guys are putting the electro fishing boat in the water now we're going to perform an electro fishing survey on this pond just to see how it's doing we surveyed it back in 2018 saw some really really healthy nice fish and today we just want to check on it and see how it's doing the owner of the pond does let quite a few people few people fish in here and so we want to make sure the population is still balanced and everything is still moving along nicely but before we sample it let's talk a little bit about why pond fertility is so important and to do that we probably should talk about just a basic simplified pond food chain so at the bottom of the food chain you have your phytoplankton or your photosynthetic plankton that's your algae your diatoms, things like that, that kind of green film you see on the water sometimes. Those are at the bottom of the food chain. Now your bluegill, your shad, things like that are going to feed on those plankton. So those plankton provide a primary food source for your panfish, your shiners, your shad, things like that. And then you have your top predators on the pond food chain, largemouth bass, your crappie, your speckled perch, things like that that are going to feed on the shad and the bluegill and the shiners. Now, like I said, this is a very simplified pond food chain, but it helps us understand the importance of having fertile water. So we have phytoplankton, or photosynthetic plankton, we have our bluegill, sunfish, shiner, shad, and then we have our predators like the bass. So for the bass to be big and healthy, which is most people's goal with a pond like this, you have to have plenty of bluegill, plenty of shad, shiners, things for them to eat. And for those bluegill to be big and healthy, you gotta have plenty of phytoplankton for them to eat. Now the phytoplankton, what really boosts their populations are water nutrients. So if you got nice fertile water, they feed on those nutrients in the water, they can then bloom which kind of causes that green film on the water and that's going to really really help your sunfish populations which will then in turn help the bass populations now a lot of the ponds that we manage are like this one and they get their fertility from runoff whether it be from agricultural land or from a dairy in this case right up the hill there over here on this side of the pond where the sun's hitting it just right you can see that kind of green on top of the water there so that's a plankton bloom and that's a good sign that this pond is nice and fertile ponds are not located near farmland or livestock or anything like that often need some supplemental fertility because they're not getting it naturally from the runoff and that's one of the services we provide we go in and check the fertility of the pond and uh, let you know if we need to boost that fertility fertilize the pond lime the pond and help get some nutrients in there to boost that phytoplankton so that we can then kind of help stimulate all levels of the food chain there by really promoting the growth of the phytoplankton at the bottom of the food chain now we do see situations where there's too much fertility in a pond which can cause it to turn over we'll talk about that in a later video but this pond from what we've seen since we've been keeping an eye on it has a nice fertility level it hasn't turned over and the amount of primary producers in there those plankton are really helping out the sunfish and the bass populations when we sampled this one like i told you 
some massive massive just fat sunfish bluegill in here and some really healthy looking bass i think almost all the fish that we sampled back in 2018 had a relative weight over one which is what we like to see so today hopefully we find the same we'll get in the boat here in a minute and we'll see what we catch When I came over to your house, I dreamt that I was bleeding out and I woke with you inside of my mouth and questions of the why. So we had a pretty good day on the water. Lots of massive sunfish, lots of really fat bass. Unfortunately, we forgot our scale, but we can look at these fish and tell that the relative weights of the fish in this pond are really, really good. We're gonna pull some of these fish out now and show them to you. Whoa. Fat and healthy. Look at the belly on that thing. Football. Safely released. Pretty bluegill. Nice bluegill. What do you think, about four pounds? Probably so. There's a monster. Oh yeah. Nice fat fish. Oh nice. Mm-hmm. Bluegill. Pretty. Nice looking bluegill. Mm. That's a fat bad fish. Goodness gracious. 
You might be closer to eight. Smallest one. Smallest one. Still not bad. Huh? It's a slab. Is all of them? Yep. So as you can tell from the footage there, this pond has some monster monster bluegill in it some of the biggest i've ever seen in a pond and some really big really healthy bass i would say the biggest bass we caught was around eight pounds but they all just had a really big belly on them just really really healthy with really high relative weights now i think it's fair to assume that there's probably some 10 pound plus bass in this pond when we're doing the electro fishing survey we don't catch every fish we just catch the ones that come you know within the range of the shock there so there's probably a lot we didn't catch or we couldn't get to a lot of really big fish in there some of the fish would kind of swim around or swim through the current they just appeared to have a lot of vigor about them and so we didn't catch all the fish we came into contact with we saw a lot of them flapping in the water but they would swim away before we could get them with a net so this is a great example of a pond with really good population balance almost a perfect pond as we might say you've got really abundant plankton populations because of the fertilization the fertilizer runoff there from the dairy you've got some really nice bluegill in there we saw a ton of fry along the banks which is nice forage that's feeding those bass and then in addition to the bluegill you've got the really nice bass so you've got kind of all three levels of the food chain that we look at and manage all of that is there and as a result we've got really healthy fish at the predator and prey level so hopefully this gives you an example of how important pond fertility is whether you get it from runoff or whether you have a company like us come in there and fertilize the pond to add that fertility feed those plankton populations and then have that cascade effect up the food chain like we see here now not only does fertilization help boost those plankton populations but it can also help control the vegetation in your pond so when you have that kind of green film on top it blocks a lot of the light from getting down deeper into the pond and so you don't have hardly any issues with submerged vegetation because you don't have light penetrating down there feeding that submerged vegetation which needs light to photosynthesize and grow so there's lots of benefits to having a fertile pond one being you know it's the base of the food chain feeding that plankton the other being really suppressing aquatic vegetation we didn't really see any submerged vegetation in here there's a little bit of vegetation in the pockets a little bit of kind of floating vegetation but not a lot nothing to really be worried about so thanks for joining us today i hope you enjoyed following us along sampling this amazing 10 acre fishery right here and if you live in georgia or north florida and could benefit from our pond management services maybe you have some questions some issues with fertility in your pond you can go to our website tlcperfectpond.com there's a contact form there fill that out we'll get back with you schedule a consultation and see how we can help as always if you enjoyed the video give us a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell notification button so you get notified every time we come out with a new video and we'll see you next time right here on the TLC Perfect Pond channel.